So today we're going to talk a little bit about big footprints. And what we're going to talk about, obviously, this is a footprint. Obviously, this is a, obvious, a lot of tracks and stuff. But what you want to see in the big footprint is an outline. You want to see a structure of the foot. Like here, you can tell this is the front and this is the back heel part. You want to recognize the area that you're in. You want to see the part of the tracks that dip into the ground. Like right here, it's pressed in. You want to also see the width of the track. The track is about that wide, about four inches wide. And then it tapers. And this is the back of the boot. This is the front of the boot. This would be a large person's foot. Now, in a lot of the Bigfoot tracks or animal tracks, you're going to see toe structure. You're going to see forward foot structure. Middle structure may be there, may not be. And the heel structure. You're going to see how it was done. Heel first, maybe out, maybe just the heel down, and then up. A lot of these factors are in a footprint. Doesn't matter if it's a human's boot. Doesn't matter if it's a human's foot. Doesn't matter if it's a deer. Raise up. Doesn't matter if it's a, a raccoon, a rabbit, whatever we have. Now we're here in the city. And the reason I chose this kind of print is, one, no one's going to say, oh, that's not Bigfoot, it is Bigfoot. No, it's a boot track. Two, it's very something very simple to practice with your group looking at the prints, looking at animal prints, making your own print. If I stepped right here, you can still see the tread of my shoes a little. You can see where I went. You can see how I went, my arch structure of it and everything, and how I walk. Uh, a lot of the Bigfoot, the Sasquatch, will have a large uh, a gate. My gate's about two and a half. I'm a large gentleman. I'm almost 290 pounds. I'm six foot three. Uh, just the height ratio of maybe a Sasquatch, beginning Sasquatch, a young Sasquatch, a female Sasquatch, the Bigfoot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I necessarily call it Bigfoot. So that is why that we have these things. That is why these things are done that way. Another thing you have to recognize about what it is and about where it is and about what it's doing is where are you? Are you in a field? Are you in a uh, forest area? Are you in the city area like we are here? So there's a lot of other factors to deal with than just the print. Um, but today was uh, doing footprints. So and again, you're going to see the front part of it, the back part of it, how wide it is. That's the main part of it. So don't forget to rate. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.